In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, as we are gathered this morning, we pause to call to mind our sins and ask for the Lord's forgiveness and peace. Lord Jesus, who are sent to heal the contrite, Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray at all times, go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, for freedom, Christ set us free. So stand firm and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. It is I, Paul, who am telling you that if you have yourselves circumcised, Christ will be of no benefit to you. Once again, I declare to every man who has himself circumcised that he is bound to observe the whole law. You are separated from Christ. You who are trying to be justified by law, you have fallen from grace. For through the Spirit, by faith, we await the hope of righteousness. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision counts for anything, but only faith working through love. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. Let your, Let your mercy, mercy come, come to, to me, me o Lord. Lord. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord, your salvation according to your promise. Let, Let your, your mercy, mercy come, come to me, me o Lord. Lord. Take not the word of truth from my mouth, for in your ordinances is my hope. Let, Let your, your mercy, mercy come, come to me, o Lord. Lord. And I will keep your law continually forever and ever. Let, Let your, your mercy, mercy come, come to, me, to me, O Lord. And I will walk at liberty because I seek your precepts. Let, Let your, your mercy, mercy come, come to, to me, me, O Lord. Lord. And I will delight in your commands, which I love. Let, Let your, your mercy come, come to me, O Lord. Lord. And I will lift up my hands to your commands and meditate on your statutes. Let your, Let your mercy, mercy come, come to, to me, me, O Lord. Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord.
After Jesus had spoken, a Pharisee invited him to dine at his home. He entered and reclined at table to eat. The Pharisee was amazed to see that he did not observe the prescribed washing before the meal. The Lord said to him, O you Pharisees, although you cleanse the outside of the cup and the dish, inside you are filled with plunder and evil. You fools, did not the maker of the outside also make the inside? But as to what is within, give alms. And behold, everything will be clean for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Paul is, Paul is making an assertion in the first reading today, um, arguing that, again, some of the, the standard religious practices in place before the coming of the Christ no longer no longer apply. And, and he goes farther than simply saying you're wasting your time if you, you invest in some of these things. He goes as far as to say you are separated from Christ if you do these things, right? You, you have gone off on a, a, a dangerous path. In the gospel today, Jesus is talking with a Pharisee uh, who is caught up with the fact that Jesus isn't doing some of the prescribed ritual washing before a meal. And Jesus sort of not so gently says, you're, you're missing a deeper point here. Uh, there's something internally that you need to be conscious of that you're, you're, not, you're not catching. And he, he gives a very specific response to the Pharisee as to what to do uh, that's telling. He says, give alms, right? Give alms, give to charity. And that will, will sort of cleanse the inside for you. When we look at the readings today and some of the, the religious practices, even what Paul is fighting against, um, it's... It's this sort of outward expression that, that seeks self-justification, right? And uh, the, the readings today are an invitation to, when you and I give alms, as an example, we, we empty ourselves. We become a little less resourceful, a little more dependent on somehow God will provide for us. And in many ways, that's the posture that's necessary for, for a life of faith. It's not God... I actually don't need you. I've got all my ducks in a row. It's what we hear in the psalm. Lord, I need your mercy. Let your mercy fall upon me. I, I need you to heal me. I need you to give me strength. I need you to provide for me today. I need you to, to save me. So uh, today, um, may, may you and I um, sort of empty ourselves in, in ways that allows Christ to be Christ for us, to, to minister to us, to, to be there for us. And in doing so, we will live a life of, of faith and, and not of, of self-righteousness. Please stand for our intentions. We pray for members of the body of Christ throughout the world that by our growth in faith, hope, and charity this day, we might draw others to the good news of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In this Respect Life Month, we ask that uh, government leaders will help enact laws and policies uh, that respect the dignity of, of every human life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those uh, who uh, suffer violence or abuse, that the Lord uh, might send men and women to both uh, protect them and affirm them in their human dignity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for an increase of vocations to the priesthood and religious life that God will stir amongst his faithful desire to serve the church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick the hospitalized, the homebound, and those under hospice care. We ask uh, that the Lord, uh, if it be his will, manifest his healing power in their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died and those who will die today. We continue to pray for Steve Syrett and Dolores Register. May Steve and Dolores' soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God find peace in the presence of Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray in a particular way uh, this morning for Matt McCullough. 
We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we do ask that your mercy falls upon us. Help us to empty ourselves in imitation of your Son, and in doing so, offer a posture that allows him to minister to us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all in his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth, earth are full, full of your, your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat, eat this bread and, and drink, drink this cup, we, we proclaim, proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, Lord until, until you come, you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only, only say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. healed.
water. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment that comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.